Heavy shot from the outside, scores! The Kodiaks get on the board as Aaron Woods with the outside shot. And it is 1-0, just past the halfway mark of this first period. Yeah, you're going to see Woods looking for a shot around the corner here. You saw the Six Nations player duck out of the way. That might have been a brief screen. Hill might not have been able to get a good beat on it. Beautiful angle here, down low in the corner, 1-0 Kodiaks. And there's a shot from the outside, French scores. What a heavy shot from the outside. This time, Ben French finding the back of the net for the Kodiaks. Well, and I think the Kodiaks got to be happy with their defense and transition here to keep things back. French from the far side just unloads one and finds a hole through the top corner on the right-hand side. But the whole play was started back from great defense in the Kodiak zone. Now Roger Nurse calls something really quick and back the other way comes Simpson and scores. Jim Milligan and the Coburg bench. They want an explanation, and we'll see what happens, because Coburg, they weren't quite ready for that one. And there is Shane Simpson with all the time left in the world. He grabbed that ball off the possession change. Backhand pass, that one shoots and scores as Simmons finds the back of the net on the power play. Simmons left all alone, watch Milligan. He steps in, nice backhand pass as Simmons, who's left all alone, no choice from the Chiefs. They gotta play that box, they're short-handed. Stotts looks up at the clock, sees he's got eight seconds, moves it over to Jameson. Thinks about shooting, over to Stotts and scores. What a shot from Randy Stotts. The dish from Cody Jamison, and with 3.7 seconds left to go, it is a 3-2 game. Goalie was on the bench, so the Chiefs had the extra attacker. You can see six Chief jerseys out there. The Kodiaks aren't able to defend that. So much ball movement, so much speed. All they can do is sit there and watch I think with the turmoil we've seen in this league the last little while, I think the fact that the teams are able to field players is a win. I love it. Yeah, exactly. Shoots and scores. What a diving goal. Great effort by Alex Simmons, his second of the game. Well, effort is part of this. Guts and courage is the other part. To do this dive on a turf floor is one thing. To do it on a cement floor, knowing you're going to take the hit and still manage to keep your focus and get your shot away, the incredible drive by Alex Simmons makes it 4-2 Kodiaks. Ah, he muscles through Delzato, shoots and scores. What strength, what power. I was just going to say, the Kodiaks have got to be pretty happy with their defense so far. They're outmatched size-wise, but here you see just the pure brute strength of Stotts, where he throws the defender off, Scott Delzato, and Delzato's doing his best. You can see he's digging in, and he gets thrown off balance. Stotts makes a quick move to the center, and he's one-on-one -on -one with Orland, puts it away. Joey Capito, the former Kodiak, scores! His second of the game, and he's going to tie things up here against his former team. This one's going to sting a bit for the Kodiaks with their former captain wide open on the two-on-one. Nice crosshand play too, watch. Switches over, catches Orleman going one way, goes the other. Capito coming off an NLL championship with the Colorado Mammoth, had a little break. Out to Milligan, shoots and scores! What a shot from Cam Milligan on the run through two defenders. This is a great play by Cam Milligan. He sees Mason Kaminga coming at him and has to get the shot away quick. Goes upstairs. Although I'm not sure why Hill decided to go down on this one. Maybe there was a fake that draw, drew, drew him down to his knees, but then Milligan's got the whole top of the net. Milligan fights off his man. Could have been a push off, but I think because that missed call, they're going to let it go, and the Kodiaks find a goal right at the tail end of that play. Aaron Woods. Cam Milligan is the instigator. He got two on one earlier, fought off the checks, went and retrieved the ball in the corner, comes out with a little backhand dish pass. Woods puts it in on the edge of the crease, takes the, again, knows he's going to take the hit, takes the dish, and there it is, bottom left corner. Shoots and scores. The power play gets it done here for the Chiefs, just 12 seconds in. What a pass, what a finish. Vaughn Harris. 
Uh, they moved the puck, they moved the ball around. You see Harris just sitting on the side of the net there, but you, from that last angle, you saw the precision of the pass through two Kodiak's players. It's uh, unheard of as Robinson scores. Speaking of power plays, seven to five. Good patience here shown by the Kodiaks, just trying to find a hold in the defense to get a shot away. Robinson with an incredibly quick release underhand through the two defenders. I think Hill thought he was going to go for the overhand shot originally. Just a quick bounce shot about six, eight inches in front of Hill. Simmons comes off a pick, shoots, scores! A heavy overhand shot on the four on four by Simmons. And the Kodiaks go up by three. That's the hat trick goal for Simmons. Well, and it's also a sniper goal for Simmons, too. You see, he kind of leans to his left to get the defender moving one way, and then he just hauls off and fires it. Watch a little bounce shot here. Overhand, beats Hill. Hill didn't have much of a chance. Joey Capito, the former Kodiak, he wins that foot race. Comes right around, shoots, and scores. Capito, NLL, former NLL transition player of the year, equally as good on defense as he is on offense. And here, Kodiak defenders just lose him. I think they thought he was still on their team and he was going to transition <laughs> down the other way. They just gave him a wide open lane. Simmons now shoots and scores. Again. Alex Simmons with his fourth goal of the night go in the third. Well, here you see Simmons on the top one-on-one. -on -one. Then he gets sandwiched by the two defenders who come together, but he still manages to get his stick up and over the top to get the shot away. That's a third bounce shot goal he scored. And now good hustle by the Chiefs on that transition. Shoots and scores. Great transition play by Mason Kaminga. Well, and I think he had some tired offensive legs trying to do the back check there as well, too. Kaminga got two or three quick steps on the uh, Coburg defender, Aaron Woods, and a nice cross hand to, get, to put it away. Orderman looked like he thought he had a beat on him, but just a quick release. Shot from the outside. Jamison shoots and scores. Man, he makes that look easy. Way long distance. Watch how fast the ball gets in and out of his stick from the pass. That is elite level shooting from one of the best in the game. Just a line drive from way out. And here we go, an empty net for the Kodiaks. No problem there as Brian Rice adds a little bit of insurance. Just six seconds into that five minute power play. It's a two goal lead and the final seconds are going to tick down and the Coburg Kodiaks have defeated the Six Nations Chiefs by a score of 10 to 8. They pick up their first win of the season.